Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.11. I've been working on an AN-225 in order to launch the max space plane on it. The max space plane would sit on top and then launch off of it into orbit. The whole separation business ends up being rather dicey, but first we actually have to have an AN-225 and so I modeled it as best I could, well actually not as best I could, um, I, I could do better, but uh, it'll do for now. Uh, I, I didn't put the wheel fairings because I was just going to use the stock landing gear. Uh, I did actually model the control surfaces, but uh, I had no faith that I could make them work properly. So uh, I decided to just use the procedural control surfaces for the wing. And there are a whole lot of other bits that I could make. The engines are just modified stock engines, but they are the right configuration progress D18T. But yeah, I did the vertical stabilizer and all that business. I even did an interior. Uh, it was just a set material in a Substance Painter. Just sort of a random thing. It is, I think it's some sort of Dwarven thing. But anyway, let's not talk about that. So yeah, and we've got that going for us, but I have problems. I decided to test this out in 1.11, and well, let's take it out to the runway and see what happens. <laughs> okay, it is sort of floppy in a weird way. You wouldn't think something this heavy would be floppy, but here we are. The landing gear is always interesting when you scale it up. We have tweaked scaled it up, of course. It's uh, sitting a little bit high there. <laughs> Uh, it'll, it'll fix itself eventually. It's good for rotation though, you know, eventually we have to rotate, but not exactly my intention for it to be like that. Okay, anyway, we we are half fueled in the wings. Uh, actually, the fuel load is a little bit lower than uh, the AN-225 can carry, but that's fine because we'll be carrying a very heavy space plane on the back. But we are nowhere near the maximum uh, takeoff weight of this plane. We're only about, I say only, about 100 tons, well, uh, 90 tons above the empty mass of it. So it should be able to carry more is the point. I have configured the flaps, but the amount of drag that they produce makes it unattractive to actually use them. So yeah, I mean, we could lower the flaps. And we're already going very fast, but I can't even rotate with all the drag that they produce. So I'm gonna not... Like this. Oh, oh we're rolling a bit. You can sort of see we're climbing. Uh, you can see, look at the altimeter. But very, very slowly. even though we're going very, very fast. So we're off the ground before the runway is out, but at 140, 150 meters per second, obviously if we carry the max space plane on the back, that's not going to be any good. So what's happening? Well, what seems to be happening is uh, my meticulously formed wing surfaces do not seem to be producing any lift. As you can see, the blue vectors, the lift vectors, are all just... We're only using the control surfaces. And it puzzles me why this should be, uh, using module lifting surface... I mean, the stock game should understand module lifting surface, even if FAR doesn't like us using that. So, yeah. I don't know what's going on, really. It takes off. It looks good and everything, except for the B9 procedural wing surfaces. I didn't put the blue and yellow stripe. That's a little bit complicated. That's like a really long decal. I'll have to figure out how to do that. I should have planned for that earlier. Also, I should make it look a little bit more plainer white. It's a little bit too metallic, I think. Oh, I wasn't even using the atmospheric autopilot, I thought it was. We were flying without SAS at all. 
So yeah, it can do the thing, but I'm not gonna belabor this. Um, let's test it out with a little trick and see if we can make things better. Okay, so everything about this one looks the same except I've done something sneaky. I've clipped in a B9 procedural wing inside the wing. So there, there's, a, there's a wing inside the wing for those who like wings. Now that does add mass, uh, though not much because I reduced the mass strength multiplier. And don't worry about the hit points and armor thickness. That's all um, BD armor. This is an aero. This is an airplane install. So I've got all the airplane things in. You can sort of tell off to the side here. Actually, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of cockpits, lots and lots of cockpits to choose from. But I still ended up making my own for this. I mean, there's some interesting transport cockpits. I know that there's. Uh, with stock extensions, there's a cockpit that would work for it. Um, not that one, but that's close. But yeah, we've clipped a wing in there. It's not full length, it sort of ends short. It doesn't quite cover the whole length because the wing is awkward and would need more than one piece. And I did not do the same for the horizontal stabilizer or anything, so there's that. Yeah. So let's see how this works and whether this will work substantially differently from the other one. In theory, it should, right? Okay, atmospheric autopilot on. And settling it down. Ignition. And throttle up. Oh, by the way, I know it has too many wheels on the main gear. It's only supposed to have uh, seven rows. I put nine just for convenience because of these extra large landing gear. It does have the four wheels in front though. So now I'll just try and rotate and see when we lift off. Well, we've started to gain altitude. Nope, don't roll, don't roll. And we're definitely off earlier. So that's good, but I need to figure out why we have this problem where it's not recognizing the standard stock lifting module. Now, of course we've got FAR, but FAR isn't actually supposed to turn that off. And, of course, the wing surfaces have worked previously, so... Maybe it does turn it off and I just didn't notice it properly. But with something like this, of course, we can't ignore it. Again, the problem with adding the far lifting surface is the asymmetry between the two wings. Uh, these are not two... I mean, uh, they're symmetric in the way we think of it, but... They're not symmetric in the way you normally place wing parts in Kerbal Space Program. And for some reason that does cause a problem. We could clip in more wing pieces, but it's getting very stockish that way. Uh, at least it'll look good, even if it's haphazard. More or less controls fine. If we drop the flaps, you can see that our acceleration has slowed down. I mean, of course, flaps are supposed to produce drag, but in this case, they don't have any appreciable effect in terms of lift. Some, <laughs> at least, I didn't feel that way. <laughs> of course, you do have to have the rest of the wing there if you want the lift to happen with the flaps. And again, we're flying at Cape Canaveral because it looks better thanks to Katniss Cape Canaveral. And of course the shuttle runway is helpful. Finally figured out what I was missing with uh, Kerbal Constructs. It was custom pre-launch checks that was messing me up. That's all fixed now and we've got the shuttle runway proper. Well, maybe I'll have to try the FAR module again and see if it works in 1.11 better than it worked in previous versions for these kinds of wings asymmetrically placed wings.
I probably need air brakes. <laughs> I always need air brakes. I never have them. Well, we'll try some flaps. Maybe that'll help. Basically using flaps as air brakes now. Well, I'm gonna dive for it. I've got a lot of flaps, so we can still break. But I want to stop. <laughs> oh, can I pull up? Uh oh. Uh. Oh no, I can't pull up. Uh. Uh. Oh, that's not a great landing for an Andrew Twenty Five. Oh no! Oh no! The wheels are doing their thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> Brakes. Get back on the runway. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Totally nominal. Totally nominal landing there. I assure you. Uh, anyway. I'm still sort of wanting to want stop 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 <laughs> okay all right so that's the situation I'm still working on this but yeah uh, it's going to be interesting trying to figure out how to get it to properly deal with these wings instead of me having to clip in something and of course we'll, we would have to clip in more than we've got clipped in right now but, you know, it's a start. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.